So we got a 2010 Audi A5 and the door actuator is messed up. It's this. So sometimes the door won't lock and I gotta turn this little white piece to the right to get the actuator to lock itself and then I can set the alarm for the car or the door so, so the door can lock, should I say. But um, I'm gonna take this out I'm gonna take these out, gotta take the door panel off. So, I'm gonna first start back. I already popped this back some, but it's a little crap off. You can get in here and pop it, or pop it from the bottom. And once you pop it, just pull, it'll come off. And uh, in the meantime, you got, uh, you got some screws. You got one here. And I'm gonna pop this off too. So I'm gonna pop this off and uh, get to the. Actually, no, you don't gotta pop it off. I got the screw is under here, and I think it's another one. Right here too. Just be that one. I took this door panel off before. I had to change the speaker, but um, but yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys exactly what I gotta do. Um, so let me get this door panel off and I'll show you every screw that you had to remove. All right. So, like I said, this going to be a uh, screw. Let me show you a better shot. It's going to be a screw here. Big one there. And it's going to be one right there. And this right here, you can just uh, stuck something. Actually, it's, it's easier to stick something in between here and get it to pop out. Once you get it to pop back here, you can just put your finger in there and pop, pop. Grab it here and pop it, pop it loose on the bottom and come out. And you got one inside here. And that is a... Um, T20. So y'all know what to use to get those screws out all right and the door panel you can see you just stick something under the bottom to get, to get it open and get it to pop and this is right now pop it loose and loose and you can just lift it up and then i'll show y'all the actuator in one second do this little well, i already took it off but anyway it slips in here you just push in on this tab the tab and then push it and just come out. Then you want to take this off. This is your door handle. It connects under this ring. This plastic piece is snapped on here. Just pull it from the back. So in other words, you'll pull it from the back. Let it pull up until it snaps off. Just be careful. Don't break the plastic. And then just un unhook that from under here. And then you can just remove your door panel. You got room to work with the actuator. Yeah. This is what's in your door. Like I say, I changed this speaker over here. Um, Cause this one had, my original one had blew out. I didn't get to the other side, but I didn't feel like taking the other side off to put both of them, so. But it sounds good. And I had to customize this. So you can watch my video for that if you got an issue with your speaker. So right now, we gotta get to this actuator. We gotta remove this plastic right here and get into this door to get that out. So I'm gonna work on that and some way, somehow, I'm gonna remove this plastic. And I like you just press it in so, somehow, but I'll figure it out. I'll be right back. So pretty much, it just, it just, it's just got a lip right here. You can see the lips on the back side of it. You could just put your hand right here and just peel it back. And so it's pretty simple. And the actuator, it's hard for me to show you guys that, but anyway, it's inside there. As you would know. <laughs> so, um, more than likely, I'm going to have to unhook. So, sorry about that. I'm going to get the light back in. So, more than likely.
exactly. I'm gonna have to unhook the door handle, which is right here. And this is, um, and the plug is down, the plugs up is down, is right here. So, and then I would um, unhook this as well. This, this is when the, um, you pull the door handle, you know, it pops it so I can open the door. But for the most part, um, I'm gonna get this actuator out. Looks like I have enough room in here where I don't have to remove this window guide, which is great because some cars you gotta move this out the way in order to get the actuator out. So yeah, around here, it's these two bolts. What you're gonna need is a, a M8. And that is this type of wrench. I mean, um, um, tool to uh, get this out. And I would just put a, I'm gonna put a socket here over top of this, attach it in, and get this out. I'll be right back. Um, cable for the um, door actuator. And as you can see, this bottom piece right here. Let's see, you turn it sideways to come out this little hole up here so you just you take this plastic piece and it's like this right here twist see this little notch it's notched underneath it here so you just twist it and then it slips out of this little groove and then you turn it sideways and that little hook come out and then once you do that you unhook the power from the actuator as I already did back here somewhere and you got this little right here, you just push down on this to and you push it down. If you can't get it, I stuck a screwdriver off of this right here, but I stuck a screwdriver in there, push that little black piece back and push down on it, which was easier for me. And now is you gotta just remove this stuff from, from over this, which that's what I'm doing. Try not to tear it because there's like a little hook from the that hooks to the door, but I'm pretty sure it's just a cover. And then let this slip out. And then I'll bring the actuator, instead of, if it's not gonna fit through here, I'm gonna bring it through this back side. And put the new one in reverse, and as simple as that. So I'll show you guys what I do after that. And as you can see, I right, took it out. It's going out, took the two screws out. And once you take these two, I was gonna drop down basically. And that's basically it. But I'll show y'all what I do once I um, install it. And um, like I say, it's coming out on the back side of here. And it ain't gonna fit through this loop, it's too narrow. And then I'm gonna just pull this cable through. And when I put the new one in, I'm gonna fish the new one back through this little little boot hole, whichever, why, I don't know why they made it. But I guess it's for a reason, but anyway. But uh, so I'll show y'all that in a short. Right. So, I come to find out that you can't get that through that. It's too too big, too wide, it's too narrow. It's not going through that hole either side. So, this has to come off and you just attach it to the new one, which this is the one I got out from another car. So, I will just reattach it onto that and should be good to go. So that way, I just wrap the, as you can see, the wire is wrapped through. So I put it through, wrap it back through, plug it up, put the other um, cable back on it, bolt it up, we should be good to go. So we're gonna test it out. I'm gonna put it all back together, reassemble it, and uh, we're gonna test it out and see what happens. As you can see, the new one is in, hooked up. Ready to go. Put things back in. Bolts are in. <clears throat> and put this back up. So this is basically it just, so it just snaps into place. Like this. Oh, just pops. I guess I'm doing this with one hand, so it might slip off, but. For the most part, y'all understand what I'm trying to do. It's just 
pushes back in over it. It's got a little lip behind it, so. That's it. You want to take it off, you can just grab it the corner. Any corner, anywhere, it'll come off. And put this back on. Put this cover back on. Didn't have to take this off, so you don't have to take this off. But, um, anyway. Put this back on, put the door panel back on, test the lock, and see what happens. See if my passenger side door, um, locks back like it used to in the beginning. All right.